The thumbs involved in everything from the flourishes to the card fan to, to simply to pick a card. I mean, I have to spread the cards out with my thumb. You know, this action happens automatically, but my thumb is, you know, quite impressively distributing the cards very evenly into a fan. I don't even think, I've never thought about that before, if I'm honest. Even a color change, for instance, having the card change from the jack into the three. Whoa. Uh, that is... Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, whoa. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> that is something which requires um, a lot of action on the thumb to, to create that pivot to hold the card in place. And, and it's just everything that you do as a magician will use your thumb uh, to, to, to make the magic happen. It's, it's the, probably the most important digit I have. Oh. What's that? Oh, look, there we are. That's... Oh, George. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist that. <laughs> Kevin, thanks very much. Thanks, George. Bye now. Of all our five digits, it's the thumb that's the most versatile and the most important. In order to discover exactly what gives our thumb its unique abilities, we're about to take our first look inside the hand. So we're now under the, the palm skin there, and what's the first thing that's, that's obvious? Yes, I mean, Quentin has removed only the skin. So these, everything you see here was just beneath the skin. And the first and most striking thing is that the general arrangement of the hand is that it's got sort of two hills and a valley in the middle. And these two hills consist of muscle, and they serve the little finger and the thumb. To look at the thumb in more detail, we need to strip away this tough tissue between the muscles. It protects vital structures in the palm. So that, that is a very tough sheet that is now being peeled back, which will reveal the, the real inner machinery, yes. if you like. They'll be surrounded by fat, but yes, it covers all the important structures that come through, the major artery, the major nerves, and all of the flexor tendons. Now we can begin to see what gives our thumb its precision. No fewer than nine muscles are dedicated to controlling it. And these small muscles here, this entire group of muscles which belong specifically to the thumb, they're dedicated to the thumb, orientate it in space. All of this is very precise. You can see these muscles here. For example, this muscle, its job is to lift the thumb away from the palm. And then you have another short muscle here which flexes the thumb like that, so already it can curl round an object. And there's a very powerful muscle in here which you can just about glimpse there. And that's going from the thumb to this bone here. And you can imagine, therefore, that if you've got an object here, that will slam the thumb right against it and be a very powerful pinch, mm. produce a very powerful pinch. You can see those muscles there, those fibres will all contract and bring the thumb against your other fingers mm. quite hard. I'm beginning to appreciate the complex machinery it takes to move our thumb with such precision. <laughs> 